We don't really live in our time. I've just been thinking about it, like. It's all about, like, numbers, like. We got females over here taking photos with food covering this. And this is where we actually live. This is this this, this society of today's. Just look, go on Instagram and see what's on there. We got people with random names, random photos, go to YouTube channels saying whatever they want on there. We got people making millions off of just talking to a camera. We got corporations competing with people like me. And the craziest thing about it, that some people like me, just one person running a YouTube channel, gets about the same views, if not more, than corporations. It's insane. It's an insane time. I... It actually, you get pretty mind fucked just thinking about it. Like, I just laying in bed, just barely knew what was I like. Hmm. That is, that's kind of insane. And I also have this conversation with my uncle about this shit too. About how I'll be the breakthrough or Chris Muth is getting about the same views as ESPN. The only difference that ESPN puts out more videos. Of course, Chris Smooth puts out quite a bit. But all he does is just commentary over highlights, which that's somewhat easier. I mean, you still got to go out and do it, and it does become work. But if you really just think about it, Chris Smooth gets about the same as ESPN. RB the Breakthrough. He is a lot smaller YouTube channel than Chris Smith. He gets about the same. If you look at other smaller YouTube channels, like mine especially, some of my videos got way more views than some of ESPN videos. If you look at ESPN videos, some of them got like 5,000, 10,000 total views. And that that's it. That, that is playing out it. Not much. Of course, a good amount of them have over 100k. Like 500k, 800k. Some of them, a rare ESPN video get, got a million views. That's a rare ESPN video. And that, that is absolutely insane. But, 